What is the writ of habeas corpus in the Philippines? In today's video, we will be learning about writ of habeas corpus. What are the instances where the writ of habeas corpus may be availed? We will also be giving the latest Philippine jurisprudence on the topic of the writ of habeas corpus. If you like to know, watch this short video discussion and subscribe for more useful information. Comment your legal questions and we will answer. Writ of habeas corpus literally means, produce the body. The privilege of the writ of habeas corpus can only be suspended in cases of rebellion or invasion and when public interest requires it. Sec. 15, Art. 3, Constitution. The writ of habeas corpus is a process that is tantamount to a summons to appear before the court issuing it for an inquiry into the cause of the restraint complained of. Its issuance does not amount to an adjudication of the issue of legality of the restraint. It is just an order to appear and explain. The privilege of the writ, on the other hand, is the writ issued to enforce the court's decision on the merits finding the restraint illegal and directing the release from custody of the detained individual. Rule 102 of the Rules of Court provides that the writ of habeas corpus shall extend to all cases of illegal confinement or detention by which any person is deprived of his liberty, or by which the rightful custody of any person is withheld from the person entitled thereto. It may be used to inquire into the legality of the detention of a person. A writ or order requiring that a prisoner be brought before a judge or into court to decide whether he is being held lawfully. Because it is a prerogative writ and therefore must be decided upon immediately by the court. The habeas corpus proceeding must take precedence over all other cases because it involves the liberty of the person. Hence, the court must resolve the case habeas corpus case within 48 hours. Source. Batasnaten.com Who may issue the privilege of writ of habeas corpus? The writ of habeas corpus may be granted by the Supreme Court, or any member thereof in the instances authorized by law, and if so granted it shall be enforceable anywhere in the Philippines, and may be made returnable before the court or any member thereof, or before a court of first instance, or any judge thereof for the hearing and decision on the merits. It may also be granted by a court of first instance, or a judge thereof, on any day and at any time, and returnable before himself, enforceable only within his judicial district. What are the requisites for the application of writ of habeas corpus? Section 3, Rule 102 of the Rules of Court provides the requisite for application of writ of habeas corpus. The application for the writ shall be by petition signed and verified either by the party for whose relief it is intended, or by some person on his behalf, and shall set forth. A. That the person in whose behalf the application is made is imprisoned or restrained on his liberty. B. The officer or name of the person by whom he is so imprisoned or restrained. Or, if both are unknown or uncertain, such officer or person may be described by an assumed appellation, and the person who is served with the writ shall be deemed the person intended. C. The place where he is so imprisoned or restrained, if known. D. A copy of the commitment or cause of detention of such person, if it can be procured without impairing the efficiency of the remedy, or, if the imprisonment or restraint is without any legal authority, such facts shall appear. When does writ of habeas corpus do not apply? A. Remedy for reviewing proceedings for deportation of aliens, de Bischop v. Galling. B. Where the court has no jurisdiction to impose the sentence, Benayo v. President of San Pablo. C. Where a person is deprived of liberty due to mistaken identity. In such cases, the person is not under any lawful process and is continuously being illegally detained. In Ray Datukan Malong Salabo, 2015. Can writ of habeas corpus be used to interrupt a duly issued court order of imprisonment against a convicted person? The writ of habeas corpus is not designed to interrupt the orderly administration of the laws by a competent court acting within the limits of its jurisdiction, 
but is available only for the purpose of relieving from a legal restraint, People v. Valt. The writ of habeas corpus cannot be availed of in cases of detention by virtue of a judicial process or valid judgment. Exceptions where the writ may be availed of as a post-conviction remedy. A. There has been a deprivation of a constitutional right, resulting in the restraint of a person. B. The court had no jurisdiction to impose the sentence, or C. An excessive penalty has been imposed, as such sentence is void as to such excess. Hardin v. Director of Prisons Can the writ of habeas corpus be applied in child custody cases? In custody cases involving minors, the writ of habeas corpus is prosecuted for the purpose of determining the right of custody over a child. He grant of the writ depends on the concurrence of the following requisites. 1. That the petitioner has the right of custody over the minor. 2. That the rightful custody over the minor is being withheld from the petitioner by the respondents, and 3. That it is to the best interest of the minor concerned to be in the custody of petitioner and not that of the respondents, Masbata v. Relucio. I hope you learned something new today. Comment your questions and we will answer them. For more useful information about the Philippine law and jurisprudence. Source. UP Law Reviewer. Subscribe to this channel. What is the writ of habeas corpus in the Philippines? In today's video, we will be learning about writ of habeas corpus. What are the instances?